Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Thursday, April the 7th, 2011. Well, the change of trend today, and we have a candle that's made a lower high and a lower low. Unfortunately for the bears, however, that change of trend has been made on an indecisive spinning top type candle. And uh, we have the uh, candle testing down below the area of 1332 which was previous uh, solid support and resistance and tested down to 1324 so quite significant that the market has tested down below there but the sellers lost commitment as they were trading down there and failed to close below the important 1332 level by the same token however the bulls weren't really strong enough to test above the previous day's high and that's uh, now the swing high for the for the uh, second time frame uptrend that the market's in so the buyers actually lost commitment as they were trading, uh, trading up around those levels as well. And we have uh, an indecisive candle where neither side has really taken control of this market. The uh, uh, market has closed just above the midpoint level, which means that the buyers have very minimal amount of control, but it's not enough control to be uh, uh, quite significant. Uh, we have a red-bodied candle, so at least the sellers made some net bearish progress on the, on the day. But it was only a small amount of net bearish progress, so really not enough uh, for us to um, uh, consider that the trend will uh, definitely be continuing down. So there is some doubt about the continuation of the trend to the downside. If the trend does continue down, however, we would like to see a close down below 1332 and perhaps the market trade down below the 1324 area of support that it uh, almost tested in today's trading. Below there we have decent support at the Tenkan Sen, which is at 13.22, and then at the top of the cloud, so roughly about 13.14, we have very solid support extending down through the 1300 round number, down through the Kijun Sen, all the way down to the bottom of the cloud around 12.88, 12.90. To the upside, if we do have a change of trend to the upside, and there is a possibility of that, although we do need the market to trade up through this uh, swing high around uh, 1339 but to the upside we have strong resistance at 1344 yeah, as we said previously if the market does gain enough momentum to test above 1344 and we see a bullish close up above there there isn't any solid resistance until we trade up to around 1363 so that's a very important level for this market now if we look at this um, swing high around 1339 we can see on one two three four five occasions now We've tested up above here and up above the 13.32 region and we've seen good solid downside price rejection. Now in Ichimoku charts terms this market is trading up above the cloud so we have an overall positive bias to this market and we're trading up above the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen so the market is bullish in the medium term and fast term time frames. We also have the Tenkan Sen trading above the Kijun Sen so the market's bullish uh, or that confirms the uh, bullishness in this market. And also the Chika span is only just above the corresponding price action, which means that it uh, is confirming the bullishness, but it's pretty much neutral because it's trading so close to that uh, that price action. Now, if we look at the Kijun Sen, uh, that's turned flat. And when the Kijun Sen turns flat, it tends to be an attractive price action. And that's exactly what's happened here today. So that does uh, set up the possibility of the market continuing the downtrend and uh, possibly retracing back towards this area now we need to consider that support down below so there is a chance that that support will hold if 1334 doesn't hold as we said then certainly the area at the tank and send 1322 and below there the top of the cloud so good solid support below uh, good decent resistance up above this area as we've said is important over the next trading day um, as is the 1334 support